Good day everyone, you're watching Ratio Fixes. On today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to download Apex uh, Legends PC game onto your Windows machine. In case if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, without any further ado, uh, what you will have to do is uh, to download uh, the game. You will have to open a browser on your computer. Go to google.com. In the search box, you will have to go ahead and type apex uh, legends for pc download the first link what you will see is for the ea i will also mention the link in the video description you can go there now once you click on this link it will take you to the ea page on the official apex uh, legends website now from the drop down menu you can click on the at the top right corner click on the drop down menu for download for free it will give you the list of options where you can download uh, the game for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Since I'm using the Windows, I'm going to select Origin on PC. Now this will download an installer uh, which is about uh, 64 MB file. Once uh, the installation is done, you will have to follow the step-by-step -step instruction. So let's wait. Now the download is complete. Uh, I'm going to double click on the setup. or you can find the setup file in the downloads folder in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen so this will open up the apex uh, legends installer so the next option what you will have to do is you will have to click on install origin and here you have an option to go ahead and select the location you might get an option to register you may click on register later and th these are the options what you would see if in case if you don't want to install the software on the c drive you can go to browse and it can install it on a different drive in my case i have a c drive and f drive so let me install it on a f drive or let me go to the c drive itself click on select the folder and uh, check the box which says select the box whichever is applicable for you so i'm going to keep it as it is the default one accept the end user license agreement and click on continue so what this will do is it will start downloading the um, the game from the internet now depending on the speed of your internet it might take about uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay let's wait till um, the download is complete So you will see a couple of options here. Uh, what that, uh, what this will basically do is, uh, let's say you're installing it, um, this game um, for the first time, it will try to install the latest version of Origin. In case if there are any latest version which has been released by EA, it will try to download or install the latest version what has been currently available on the official EA website. So you will have to be patient here. Now, um, once this is done you should be um, you will have to follow a couple of instruction here in order to launch the game so it is going to take some time let's wait until uh, the latest version of uh, apex legend is been already um, it's been already installed on the machine
Now that uh, the installation is going to take some time, let me walk you through the system requirement, what is needed to run this game on the machine. You can go to the Apex or the EA uh, website, click on the About section and go to PC requirement. So under PC requirement, uh, this will show you the if your uh, if you can go ahead and run this game on the machine the basically what you would need to run this game on um, your PC is the operating system it has to be a 64-bit operating system and the basic version what is required is Windows 7 or the higher version it is compatible with Windows 7 8 8.1 and Windows 10 I'm using Windows 10 on my machine and the CPU is needed as uh, Intel i Intel Core i3 processor and the RAM minimum is 6 GB and the graphic card what you required is um, NVIDIA or Radeon and the RAM is uh, 1 GB again for the GPU and the hard drive requirement is 22 GB of free space which means that it is going to take um, a lot of space on your computer make sure you have enough space in order to run this game on your computer so the Apex has been successfully installed on the computer. Let me go ahead and sign in to my EA account. In case if you don't have an EA account, you will have to click on create an EA account and follow the step-by-step -step instruction here. Now that I've already created an EA account, let me sign up with my EA account. You can change it here. I'm gonna keep it as it, as it is. Click on next and I'm going to accept the end user license agreement click on next again Now, if you go to store, you will have to click on browse for games and you will have to select play Apex Legends now for free. Click on this option here and click on add to library. Now, what this will do is it will start downloading the Apex Legends uh, onto your machine. Now, if you look at the screen here, this file uh, it's going to take about uh, 30 minutes so let's wait till the complete download is uh, download is completed so this is a huge file so like I said earlier in the system requirement you need to have uh, enough disk space in order to complete the download let's wait till the download is complete Screen the download for Apex Legend um, on has been successfully completed and currently it is finalizing the installation. So we are almost there. And once uh, the finalization of the installation is done, we will try launching the Apex Legend and um, and and see how the game looks like. We'll have uh, we'll we'll do a look and feel of the game. So we are almost there. Probably when we are launching the Apex for the first time, we might come across an error message. Let's see if we are getting any uh, sort of error message when we are uh, trying to launch the game. And uh, probably in my next video, I can um, share the possible resolution uh, to fix the uh, error message or any problems what you would face while launching Apex Legend. In case if you need more videos on this game, do let me know in the comment section so that we can come um, come up with uh, this kind of videos. Um, basically, currently I'm, I'm doing more videos on uh, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Office and some of the applications, auto application. In case if you want more videos on um, the uh, gaming 
uh, that's uh, fixing the basic uh, problems with related to the uh, Windows gaming, do leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up, come, ac uh, come up with the new videos for you guys. So the wheel is spinning. It is still finalizing at this point of time. So I think we are. So uh, if you look at the screen, the Apex Legend has been successfully installed. Uh, you can either launch this game from here or you will also see the shortcut which has been already created on my desktop. So let me double click this, double click on this icon here. Uh, let's stay uh, let's see how much time it will take uh, to lo load the application so it is loading at the moment so the game has been uh, successfully uh, launched and uh, here you would get a firewall access prompt basically if this is an online game so it will ask for the uh, firewall access you may click on allow access because your apex legend is trying to access the firewall so it is working seamlessly so everything seems to be uh, working perfectly fine there is a bit lag uh, on the game here so it is negli negligible though can go ahead and install Apex Legends on the computer. Like I said earlier, in case if you come across any issues with the uh, with the uh, Apex Legend launching or if you're getting an error message, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, let me see what best I can do to come up with a possible resolution. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.